all right welcome back fellas to some more dungeon crawl stone soup apparently fuck i have to sl i like ah oh, man i have so much work to do but i can't be bothered doing it god what a pain in the ass two days till my exam pretty uh, pretty stressed out but at the same time just like not giving a single fuck all right what are we talking about what are we doing what are we doing here what's going on what's happening all right we had we had like some runes right we had two yeah all right cool we have the icy icy boy runes we've got to get that uh RLX, that good shit do we have that? No, we don't. How do we get that? Uh, put this ring on instead of the ring of fire resistance. Sure, why not? Okay, so we got R R uh, RC triple plus R neg triple plus R -lec. That's good enough to do. Cocytus. So we got to do Cocytus today, and then we got to finish off with the tomb. Possibly do a, a bit of ziggurat as well. Not too much, probably, because this character is not really well built for ziggurats. Um... But yeah, it's mostly just for the memes, really. Not really for any particular reason. Now that we're at the uh, tail end of our video game career in this 15 rune game, uh, it's a very good idea, probably, to just... Oh, or, sorry. I'm giving less and less of a shit about picking up my crossbow bolts. Um, I'll pick them up if they're convenient to pick up. Otherwise, nah, don't worry about it. Like, it's not a huge deal um, if I don't pick them up. Basically because, like, the chance of us using 974 bolts left over is not too high. It is a force of habit for me to pick it up though, so I am going to pick up like some if I can, but I don't really give a shit about throwing these in the water or whatnot. Um, I have thrown much more important things in the water before, like uh, worm, Wormbane, for example, on accident, back in the day. Um, that's a story for another time, but oh my goodness, that was a lot of damage. Okay, you, my friend, need to die. Like, for example, here, I wouldn't even really bother too much to pick up all this stuff. It's too much stuff. Oh look, the, they're undead. They're undead uh, tentacles now. Cool. Were they always undead? No, I think that was simulacrum only. Never mind. I think those were already there. Those undead tentacles, but maybe they weren't. So either way, I'll say, hey, look at those kraken tentacles. They're not living anymore, like they used to be. Uh, these are elemental well springs. Damn, they used to be. Uh, that's another enemy that actually got relegated to extended after to Des realized that they probably shouldn't be on D7. Um, that was a not ideal situation, and it was a dark time in crawl history when we were having to fight wellsprings. Uh, wellsprings, if you don't know, basically shoot vial of floods at you every 10 seconds, uh, making them almost impossible to kill, because you're always standing in deep water against them, and also the water elementals just fuck your day up anyway, and they also silence you, so... Yeah, it wasn't the most ideal enemy to fight. Now that they're uh, in Kakaitis, they're kind of like the correct... in the correct place, sort of. Like, they're not even... They're not too big of a deal now, I guess. They're kind of scary, but they're not super scary. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of a funny joke that uh, the devs like to play. Let's chuck an extended character uh, enemy into uh, the dungeon. Like, not even, not even like... I think, yeah, there was like a, a vault or two that had like literal wellsprings just sitting there in like D11 or something like that. Uh, they also were in the Enchanted Forest, which was a tomb replacement. Um, I actually wasn't aware of that for some reason, and what I... Oh, was it was a tomb or was it crypt? It might have been crypt, not tomb. Because what happened basically with me is that... Yeah, I think it was actually crypt that got replaced with the forest for a while. Like, you could get either the forest or crypt. Um, yeah, like, I, I played as a gargoyle once. Uh, gargoyle scowled. And I was like, oh, let's just go in. Oh shit, this is pretty bad. Uh, let's get some allies with us right now. These shard strikes are not to be fucked with, to be completely honest. We'll just try to kill them as quick as we can. These guys actually do a lot of damage. They look like they don't, but they do a shitload. Uh, if they come in packs. They're kind of like Caustic Shrike, so you want to not... I mean, they are related to the Caustic Shrike, so... Let's not fuck around with them. You know what I mean? Let's just... Play it calm. Play it cool. Those Ice Fiends look fucking stupid, by the way. Um, they do not... Like... They do not look scary at all compared to their old form. The old ones struck absolute terror in the eyes and hearts of many a crawler. And these new ones look just stupid. They look like legitimately like level, tier one, uh, tier two demons. They do not look like the godlike tier ones they are, that they are. They look like the uh, ice devil, like that, the the one that I just shot to death in one hit. Like that is just sad. It doesn't look anything like what it should look like, and it's just depressing me. Um, so yeah, that's how I feel about that. If you weren't aware. Alright, this Kakaitis, this looks disturbingly like Kakaitis 7, but it's Kakaitis 6, so that's uh, good to know, at least, I guess. 
Let's just stand here and beat on some stupid ass fucking undead for a while. This is taking a while, but it's okay. We got this. Okay. I'm gonna have to go ahead and try to figure out where the hell this downstairs is. Come on. So Kakaitis is the most dangerous of the hells. Uh, mostly because Antaeus is a big motherfucker. Ice Veins are big motherfuckers. Um, Shard Trax is scary, kind of. And there's a lot of water everywhere. It doesn't matter to this character, but normally it does matter quite a bit. Um, but yeah, we are actually pretty well equipped to take it on. Usually though, I will not do... A, I'll usually have this hell as my 14th rune. Um, simply because it's too scary otherwise. Let's use a magic map scroll. Uh, we're going to need about four more for the rest of the game, I think. So we don't really need to do... We can freely spend on all the health floors. Magic mapping is really nice to have in hell in general because... Whoa, this is a really weird looking thing. So I guess Antaeus is like in one of these five little pocket things. I actually haven't seen this one before. Um, this is pretty cool to see. I'm just going to stand here and shoot a little bit, I guess. Maybe do a holy flame here and there just to make sure things are okay. Alright, so the strat here against Antaeus. Uh, I don't I don't know where he is exactly. We're gonna go have to, we're gonna have to bleh, we're gonna have to go find him, but I assume he's like in this little stupid alcove thing. I actually am kind of nervous, like going into this new vault. Usually I am pretty afraid of dealing with like un unknown things. Like this is a new vault for me, definitely. I would say that I've never seen this one before. I can confidently say that. And I've done a fair amount of 15 runes, so like this is pretty interesting. Uh, I always got like the the one with like two branching paths or something like that. Uh, we got contaminated. That's not too big of a deal. Wasting away is whatever. It's not a huge issue. I'd much rather have the RC double plus right now anyway. Um, all right, just making sure to shoot as much as I can. I've lost a fair amount of bolts at this point now. Lost about 200-ish, which is a bit scary, but eh, whatever. It's not too big of a deal again. Um, the time is definitely of the essence in this area anyway, so I'd rather I'd rather spend the extra bolts to kind of get rid of it, uh, get rid of all the danger here. Like I need to be shooting stuff as much as possible, right? In the earlier hells, I was okay picking them up, uh, picking more bolts up because I was like, eh, it's not that hard. Um, in here though, the chances of me getting just Surrounded by ice fiends is it's it's very possible that that's a thing. So got to be extra du super duper careful. Um, yeah. Also sucks because like like I said, the ice fiends do not look like the old ice fiend, and I really hate that because they look like ice devils, and it's very hard to differentiate between the two at times. Um, they don't look anywhere near as threatening. Threatening, as I said before. I mean, Brimstone Fiends, those motherfuckers look scary, you know what I mean? Like, that thing does not look like a fucking tier 1 demon that's gonna eat your face in. Like, those things were fucking nightmarish. Okay. So let's just chill out. Take a break, take a breather. Let's see what's going on over here. It's another Ice Fiend, that's fine. Okay, just stand at the entrance, sort of. Just give myself a little bit of time to breathe. Hopefully Antaeus just comes out. Yeah, we're gonna fight him because um, it's part of the achievement, I guess. Killing all the 15 rune guys. It's not really an achievement. In fact, like not killing them is actually harder, but you know, we like the we like the glory. We wanna kill them all. Okay, kill that guy. Okay, there's Antaeus, there's a boy. Uh, let's haste. Uh, summon a bunch of demons. I mean allies. Uh, I guess we have to stand next to him. Oh, holy shit, he did so much damage to us in one shot. Uh, oh, actually, we have Portal Projectile, so we can just shoot his ass from behind us, allies. But, damn, that is scary. Yep, that is terrifying. Let's agility as well. Let's heal wounds one, just in case. Oh, man. Okay, that was pretty terrible. So, Antaeus is, um... He hits like a motherfucker. He hits like a goddamn truck. He's tanky as shit. Um, uh oh, what's going on here? Uh, why am I dying to this? Oh, God. Okay, that was terrifying. <sighs> okay, let's Ambrosia. Just get some health back. We'll rest here. It's not a good idea to rest in hell, but we, we can we can afford to because we've killed the hell lord. Like we can kind of get away with it. 
Oh, the Eldritch Tentacle's just okay with us now. Sweet. Damn, that was absolutely terrifying. Gotta say. Alright, whew. Okay, I got uh, tormented by hell. That's fine. Let's check out what these gloves are. Never gonna be a, as good as the goddamn Gauntlets of War, but, you know, it's nice to at least pay homage to our roots. So the regen here is actually really helpful for us. Um, having extra regen uh, from the amulet is like super, super good. Just makes us so much stronger. Okay. Uh, potion of I, experience. I don't even know what I'm training at this. Like, I legitimately don't even know what I'm training at this point. I was just, I like, I just haven't been looking. Uh, yeah, let's train some of this. Sure, why not? I don't really care. It's really not a big deal. Uh, yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> I don't really care at all about any of these things, so, so it's fine, I guess. Okay, um, it's nothing in here that's really that incredible. That's fine, though. I don't really care about the gold at this point. Maybe this book has something. Book of Summon Small Mammal. I like that. I respect that. Um, I could theoretically pick up, like, Silence. No, 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 no. How do we pick up Silence? Where is Silence? I have, I definitely have it, right? Like, there's no way I don't have it. I just want to figure out where it is. Uh, uh, where the fuck? Oh my god, it's so far. Where, where is this thing? Do I not, do I really not have silence? Have, can I, can I like, can I like look it up? Can, oh yeah, I can, sweet. Uh, silence. There we go, sweet. Alright, pick that up. Um, I don't know if I can track, actually train this thing in time, but let's just try to train it, I guess. Uh, I need air and hexes. Hey, look, air and hexes. Alright, let's put a lot of EXP into magic, uh, into air magic for now. If we can get Silence up in Tomb, that's probably not too bad of an idea. Silence is great in Tomb because it stops all the casters from doing all the bad shit to you, basically. Um, prevents, like, a lot of... I think it prevents Torment because those the mummies are actually casters and they're casting Torment, not, like, demons which are actually using Torment uh, as an ability. But while we get some EXP, let's go into the Ziggurat. Um, just have a, have a nice chat in the Ziggurat. Just have a relaxing spring break in the Ziggurat. Um, so if you don't know what Ziggurat is, it's basically just a meme area. It's 27 floors of just uh, absolute fuckery. Uh, you get increasingly difficult stuff as you go down. Um, uh, different themed floors. Your battles get a little longer and harder every single time. Uh, your loot also goes infinite. You know, it's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, shoot that stupid uh, mutation guy. Usually, ziggurats, the first, like, five or ten floors are actually completely safe, and you can go into them for a through-in game, but, I don't know, I, I, I find it a little de degenerate, so I don't do it. I mean, it's perfectly viable. It's a, it's a perfectly valid strategy. It's, there's almost no danger, as you can see, uh, in the first couple of floors, but it is, it is fairly terrifying at times. I'm gonna pick up Passage of Galubria, that's what I wanted in the first place, which is why I picked up all these spells. Um, I want that because it lets me just port, a uh, semi-controlled port over, uh, in certain locations, which is good. Okay, these are just slime level enemies, they're really not anything threatening, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill them real quick. I'm also gonna make sure to, that I pick up the bolts here, like, there's no reason not to at this point. Uh, I'm gonna put the ring on, see what it is. That's garbage. I should. I also should remember to put the RFRC ring on instead of the uh, the other random thing we had on, the RLEC one. This is kind of garbage. All right, another scroll of blinking. I'm basically coming here to top up on any supplies that I might miss. I might be missing. Um, also, the velocity weapon's way better here. Just forgot. Like I'm making silence a bit more castable, while I'm also getting more stuff to basically pump into my stuff, uh, into my character, to, you know, create the illusion that I'm at least getting more power. Like I said, it, it's a fairly degenerate strat, but it, it works, right? It's not... I ain't gonna knock it if it works. If it works, it works. Alright, we need portal projectile for this exact reason. Um, just sniping the tormentor in the back while he can't get anywhere. Uh, one holy flame will do. Everything else is basically popcorn. I wanted to make sure I didn't die there. That was a Kakaitis themed floor, I guess. So, had a lot of fairly scary things. You can also get stuff like, um... Let's get rid of Shock while we're here. You can also kind of get rid of 
Ooh, actually, lamp fire. It's not bad. Oh, should we train Evo? I forgot to train Evo this game. Oh, nice. Well, I guess we'll train a little bit. It's not a huge deal, though. We didn't really have anything that required Evo to be trained, to be honest. Oh, that's a Juggernaut. Okay, let's Holy Shield just in case, but this shouldn't be too dangerous, I think. I mean, like, we're not really well suited to kill these kind of enemies anymore, like, because we're extended lads now. Um, but we can still kind of pack good punch against these guys. As long as I buff up and stuff, it's all good. Alright, anyway, what was I talking about? Um, I don't know, we're just gonna go probably to about uh, D10, and then we'll stop, I think. Once you get past D10, you're gonna get a little bit more difficult, which is kind of not really what I want. Like I said, I want to do the ziggurat just to kind of get a little bit of free XP, and not really try too hard to do anything. Um, not doing anything special, basically. I'm just kind of coming in for a bit of EXP, a bit of, bit of a grind, that's it. It's no, no stress. No, no real pain. I'm not doing this for the challenge. If I was, then I would be changing the way my character worked already um, to prepare for a ziggurat, basically. Um, ziggurats tend to be the things that you want to kind of plan around anyway. You need to have, like, good healing on kill, like McCleb, usually. Um, or you need, like, really big AoE stuff. I don't really have any of that stuff, so... We'll go one more, just to see what's going on over here. Uh, let's portal projectile. Shoot the Ancient Lich. A couple of times. I'll just summon one angel with me. Like, there's not that many scary things on this floor. I just, I just, I'm just shooting at, like, kind of at random, almost. Like I said, I don't have great AoE, so it's a little bit scary at times. But, you know, we'll, we'll get... Oh, God, the Ghost Moth has to die. Yeah, there we go. That was good. Got 27 Invo, so, like, my damage is pretty good uh, with the Holy Flame, even if I'm not really, like, super... Uh, even if these guys don't really give a shit about him. They also buffed TSO a little bit, so that he got a little bit better uh, at killing non-undead anyway, so it's not bad. Protection from fire, lol. That's gonna be useful in this day and age. Okay. Alright, we got we got what we came for. Like, silence is down to a respectable level now. Um, evocations are starting to go up as well. We have, like, a fairly good spread of stuff. We picked up a good amount of things. Actually, there's a couple of bolts here. I don't know why I wasn't picking them up. And now we can just leave that, that ziggurat with 11 floors done. It's pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, we got we got some we got what we came for basically. Uh, now we're gonna go, go do the tomb, which is the last area in the game other than Zot. Now, uh, tomb is a fairly is fairly is considered mostly the uh, sorry the most dangerous of the 15 runes, uh, and it recently got uh, uh, buffed even harder because um, these downstairs were replaced with shafts down so you have only you have to basically play by the rules that they're going for um which is kind of annoying it's a little bit annoying i'll be honest i need some magic resistance do i have any magic resist yeah i do cool let's uh go ahead and put that on here because that is a bit terrifying to have to have these sphinxes just fuck me up like this is not good i want to get more mr but yeah, uh, basically, the, the deal with mummies are, they torment you, some of them smite you, some of them summon some stuff as well. Uh, and if you kill them, you get hit by mummy death curses, which are basically like... Uh, it's almost like a hell effect. You can get slowed, you can get tormented, you can get smited, etc. Uh, you can get stat rotted, you can get a whole bunch of bad shit happen to you, basically. Um, so yeah, you gotta be careful about killing too many guys, uh, especially without RN. Having said that, we have RN triple plus, and we are healing on kill, so a lot of the time the mummies aren't going to fuck with us that much, but Vol uh, Tomb 3 obviously is going to be a bit of a scary one. So yeah, Tomb now has like a very spoopy like, ar architecture. You kind of have to play by the rules a little bit, um, the way they want you to play, which is kind of scary. I don't like that. So we're going to try to cheese that by teleporting at some point. Um, and we'll see how things go. Can't guarantee that it works though. So actually, maybe we'll just do the whole thing like legit, and we'll just see how it goes. I mean, the best way to get this out is to TP into one of these areas, and then like, I think I guess we should just try to TP. It, I suppose if we can TP into like this inner ring, that's good. Okay, there we go. So the whole thing about this place is, oh my god, 
Okay, I'm gonna actually TP again. It's probably not the wisest idea to just engage those mummies like that. I was just kind of trapped. Like a rat. Yeah, so these greater mummies are really gonna fuck your day up. Um, I'm gonna actually fog here. Because what fog's gonna do is it's gonna cut down on the amount of guys that can see me and smite me at the same time. Um, this is not, like, the best place to be in, but with a bunch of holy fire spam, I should be okay. Alright, so these, these Ushaptis are really gonna mess me up a little bit. Yeah, okay, this is a little scary, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie, this is getting a little, a little dicey, a little bit, ooh. A little bit, I'm not a fan. Uh oh, am I dead? Let's just start spamming holy flame, oh boy. Okay, okay. Tomb is clearly, like, not fun. And this shit is fucking scary, too. Like, oh man, okay. <sighs> How would I get through this? Like, I don't want to silence myself in that, like, particular corner, because there's so many fucking guys coming in from outside of the silence range that I'm just gonna get fucking annihilated, uh, especially if I try to TP. That's a bit, uh, like, yeah, I won't be able to TP if I silence myself, so I'm not trying not to silence. But that is fucking terrifying, the fact that I can't kill those guys. Um, and I really don't want to go into the tomb by, via the conventional way, because I feel like if I go down here, you basically have a Zot 5, which is a fucking terrifying thing to have. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to go down there. I might just try one more time in the inner ring, and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Because this is fucking bad. Like, this is quite bad. Our damage is not as high as I was hoping it would be when it comes to killing these guys, which is a bit of a worry. I'm gonna have to kind of rethink my strategy. Like, I think this is actually the best position to teleport into. As long as I'm like kind of cautious, I can shoot them one by one. Like, these mummies are not scary when you're fighting them like one by one. It's mostly when you're, they're starting to stack. Um, that's when they kind of get a little bit worrisome. Like here, you get two of them and they're kind of just like fucking with you from like full screen almost and you're like a bit worried about it so okay this is where portal projectiles coming in handy look at that I can just snipe him from behind his summons one of the dangers of fighting against a mummy is him flooding a corridor with summons that you can't kill and then tormenting you and smiting you from behind that uh, but thankfully because of are ranged and we picked up portal projectile projectile we can actually uh, kind of avoid that situation altogether which is good Make sure to precast portal projectile so that even if he does get a summon, I don't waste a turn. Um, kind of shooting at nothing. Just gonna wait here. Take a bit of a wider corner to try to get as many shots off as I can. Ow. Yeah, look at that. Even with our uh, R and triple plus, I'm still getting fucked up this badly. Like, damn, that's rough, man. There's the mummy priest. Um, I feel like I can afford to mutate out of this now. Okay, that's good. That's actually really good. Having, um, having, what do you call it, spells are a little easier to cast. That's actually very good for us because, uh, it basically means we can afford to, basically means our spell training is complete for the most part. Uh, meaning I can just turn that shit off right now and train some dodging and armor, I guess. Because... Silence being at that spell power is fine, I suppose, and it's at 3% fail. We're only using it for, like, emergency firing, anyway. I'm gonna precast portal projectile in case there's a guy here. Alright, there was. That's fine. Okay, now we're gonna go try to explore the other donut area. How long have we been recording? 24 minutes. Oh, god. I really do want to end the video early so I can go study, but... Uh, I might have to just take a day off instead um, of recording. Probably tomorrow, most likely. Yeah, this is what I didn't want to deal with. Okay, snipe the... portal. Okay, so I could silence here, but if something comes around the corner and it's outside my silence range, I'm gonna get fucked up. Uh, I wasted one of my only three haste, which is kind of a scary thing. I actually went into Zig just to make sure that I had enough haste, but yeah, this might be rough. This might be a rocky ass fuck tomb. Like, this is janky as shit. 
Like, I am just standing out in the open firing at this greater mummy. That's terrifying. Okay. Shoot at the mummy, please. Thank you. Not bad. Like, our healing isn't even really that good enough. Uh, really good enough to deal with all this, so. What? Huh? Am I standing on a... I'm not even standing on a doorway. Holy shit, what? Have I misinterpreted how this works? What? What? I'm confused. What? Where's my... Uh oh. Oh boy. Uh, let's blink. Start holy flaming. Get another guy with us. Okay, this is really bad. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting fucked like this. Huh? What? Hang on, hold on, hold on. Have I misinterpreted how the tomb works? Okay, why did that not work? Is it because the other downstairs was necessary or because all the hatches lead to one place? I am confused. Okay. For the time being, let's, uh, holy flame. And let us fog. And holy flame again. We've got to try to kill this guy next to us. Okay. Pull back into the fog if you can. Spam a little bit more holy flame. Just to get rid of these guys. Pull back slowly. Not being too... Afraid, I suppose. Um, should we drink a heal wounds? Yeah, okay, we can drink one heal wounds, I guess. Like, there's not that many things around us, it's just that the things that are around us are a bit scary, that priest being one. I'm gonna actually just blink. Heal one more time. There's actually a ghost here, I think. Yeah, Delapius' ghost. That's unfortunate for you, bro. Um, I want the lich gone in case he just starts to fuck my day up. Um, okay, pull upstairs. That's ooh, that was pretty scary. Okay, okay, okay. That was that was okay. We we kind of dealt with the problem there. Like most of the problem is dealt with now. Having said that, let's summon a couple of dudes and we'll just clean this area up. That's a deep dwarf fighter of McCleb. I don't know why you're in here and how you died, but. I feel bad for you, because I know Tomb is like, it is a place where you can die and you can get fucked up pretty quick. So, sorry dude. My 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 condolences. Dopio, or whatever the hell your name is. Dolapius. Rest in peace, my man. Alright, made sure to have that, uh, my Archangel kill squad here. Just try to kill these lads. Hmm. I wonder if Cloud Immunity is, I think Cloud Immunity might actually be better than, than the other thing right now. Like, it actually might be better than, than Repel Missiles, I just realized that, in this particular instance, because I don't have any more missiles that are going to get shot at me that much. So, I guess it's just better to have this thing. To avoid the, uh, the dangers of toxic clouds, of negative clouds. Alright, anyway, continuing on. Okay, so, yeah, apparently I was correct, and basically I just need to teleport on this floor. Fuck. Alright, that sucks. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, I can just go down this, up this staircase. Okay, yeah, so... I guess I just had to go down this one the whole time. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Well, I managed- I ended up going through all of two many anyway, so fuck it, who cares. It's not a huge deal, because, um... Like, I kind of want to be up here. I kind of want to clear this whole area anyway, so it's not incredibly bad. Alright, so now comes the hard part of the entire run, and I'm really worried about this, so bear with me, guys. Let's, uh, Agility Might, and let's just pop down first. Uh, we'll try to Passage of Galubria over here. Yup, that's not good. <laughs> uh, Fog here, and let's get into this corridor. Let's just start summoning angels. Like, it doesn't matter after this. So my piety doesn't really matter. I'm just going to start summoning, and I'm just going to shoot in this corridor. So this is the best way to have, kind of, 
your character uh, survive to. You kind of sit in this corridor, in this corner here. They don't have an upstairs. Previously, Tomb was just a bunch of stair dancing, and it was like, you could kind of deal with it if you had the resources, even on like a not even like amazing character. But now it's kind of a little different. Like, because there's no down, there's no upstairs uh, staircase you can stair pull out of, you kind of have to worry about uh, dealing with everything else. Like, you have to worry about fighting everyone basically at the same time. Portal projectile, of course, gonna go on the uh, mummy here. I just realized I can portal projectile through my own allies, which means that I basically just can sit here in ease and happiness. Uh, but yeah, once you're in this corridor, you kind of have to just fight. Um, you can definitely blink or like haste yourself out, but you will be a bit scared and you'll have to restart the fight anyway. Um, the Shining One again is amazing in this position because I can just kind of heal myself away, uh, heal all the troubles of my life, you know. Um, and my goon squad here is kind of failing right now. Uh, I'm gonna just send some more backup, send some bit more support. But yeah, having a bunch of angels kind of fill the corridor is great because you can sort of avoid most of the danger in this place, honestly. Uh, at some point I'm gonna probably drink a, a mana potion, literally just to keep up my, my reserves uh, so that I can holy flame if I need to. Holy flame in this area is burst healing, effectively if you kill like a bunch of non-summoned things. Um, so it's really good. And it also lets me summon more stuff if I need to, which is good as well. But yeah, as you can see, it's we're really managing the place quite well because of the fact that we have just a bunch of angels with us. So I'm gonna summon more angels. Again, I don't care too much if I run out of piety here. It's like the last stretch, so we kind of just want it to end. <laughs> we want the suffering to end. Uh, we should be gaining quite a lot of piety, but because we're like kind of spamming angels like really It's like this is basically just summoning brother in arms over and over again, right? I'm just playing with like 50 brother in arms So yeah, once once the uh, Once the danger ends I can be more less scared, but right now I'm still in a, like a sort of terrified mode I'm gonna just holy flame a couple of times here. I need to make sure that that angel that greater um, mummy dies there's still enemies on the floor, meaning I could actually just back off now and just get away scot-free, basically. I could even probably, like, get the rune, but I'm gonna sit, sit around for a little bit longer, just see if I can get some free kills. I'm gonna sit on the staircase. It's like, as long as you take Tomb slowly, you can kind of get away with it, but it's a lot scarier than it used to be. Oh, okay, so now we're at full HP again, and we get to, we get to do that again, basically, which is good. <laughs> Alright, that's a one-way stairway leading up. I don't know why the ups and the downstairs look exactly the same, but sure. Um, again, I need to kind of just get over there if I can. There we go, that's beautiful. Get a couple of angels again. Again, not paying attention to the piety at this point. I'm just kind of getting these angels for safety. Spam a holy flame. That's a nice way to kill scarabs. They're very annoying. Uh, death scarabs are actually, like, really annoying. Okay, there's a lot of shit here. I can't... I'm just gonna mash up and then just explore it all. This is a ziggurat, a uh, figurine of a ziggurat. Summons a ziggurat, it's pretty cool. But yeah, other than that, it's pretty worthless. Uh, that's kind of garbage. Okay, sure. Oh, the plus nine scale of the Dragon King. Uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. It's actually worse than what we have right now, but you know, whatever. It's cool, it's cool. So the rune's like over here. Just pick that up right, right now, I guess. Try not to be like too cocky with this place. Even if it is empty mostly, you can kind of still get fucked up a little bit if you don't, if you're not too careful. All right, let's go to Zot. Let's finish this game up. I actually got really nervous there. Like I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna, I, I knew I was gonna like live, but I wasn't sure how close it would get. But yeah, it was just, Tomb Through was actually pretty decent thanks to TSO being a thing. Like we just crushed the entire place. It was very easy comparatively. And that leaves us with nothing more than this thing. Alright, let's see what this plus 9 dragon scales are. It's just 3 MR, 3 AC worse, but it has MR plus, which is pretty good. It's gonna just stop us from getting any bad shit happen to us. Uh, we'll also switch back to the fire resistance, and that's gonna give us 2 pips of fire resist, which is really good. We don't need 3 exactly, we're probably strong enough to just absolutely smash the other ones, but yeah, we'll be a bit careful anyway. 
switch to the holy crossbow of wrath. Holy wrath. Um, for most undead stuff. But yeah, other than that, whatever. Like, Alex still fucks us up. We're, we're, like, just because we have done 15 runes, you can still get fucked up real bad by Zot. I would not play too cockily in here. Uh, it's... I have actually lost a 15 rune character, or a 10 rune character or something like that, um, in Zot, while trying to ninja. I was having a go at it, just to see what it was like. This was like, ages ago, by the way. So like, it's not really indicative of how I would play now, but... Yeah, it got really tense and then I just ended up dying. I was like, what the fuck, I wasted so much time. So, yeah, try not to waste time in here by killing yourself. It's not a good idea. Okay, this kind of sucks. <laughs> just gonna have to shoot him. Got, uh, got a couple of mutes. Uh, we only lost in plus two and we got blurry vision. Blurry vision's not huge, like, it's, an, it's pretty scary, but it's not, like, incredibly scary, so I guess it's okay. Switch to the Holy Wrath weapon, of course, kill the Ancient Lich. Uh, yeah, it's kind of worrying that we have not that much piety, but, like, our Halo is not even full screen anymore, which is weird. It looks weird as hell after, uh, playing with the Shining One for so many hours, but, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, hopefully we just kill enough undead that, you know, oh, uh, the Shining One's like, eh, you're fine. See, that's how the, sh the fights should go with that, with this character. I don't know why the other, uh, Orb of Fire was giving us so much shit. It's interesting. Alright, I want a direct line of fire here. I'm gonna just make a kill hole like this. Being very careful again, uh, I'm still worried about things like, for example, um... Uh, Berserk Moths, they're still scary, so I'm gonna try to avoid getting just annihilated by them. Still playing fairly conservatively, even if I'm 15 rune, like I said. I mean, if I was a melee character, I'd probably be jumping in like crazy already, but... Uh, with no time pressure other than the fact that I have exams soon. Oh, also I should switch to the Scarf of Repulsion, yeah, that's good as well. Good point, Demise. Uh, cure out, get as much HP as I can as well while I'm at it. Okay, that's a nice amount of damage right there. Damn, that's what I was looking for. Look at that. Killing the Orb of Fire in like 4 or 5 shots. Pretty good. Okay. Let's try to be a bit more aggressive without poking here. Um... Okay, let's just try to shoot... The orb of fire as much as we can, but the warpers are kind of scary as well, so just kind of keep them in mind. There we go, got them. Let's pull back upstairs, or to the upstairs. Got a couple of random like shit here. Uncontrollable shouting, it's not a huge deal, but we'll mutate out. Oh good, we got rid of the vision sharpening, that's good. Awesome. Again, being mindful of our surroundings, even if we are in a 15 room character, being very respectful of the Zot. Uh, the fifth level. Excuse me. Uh, resist Corrosion. Wow, that's not a great ring for this character. Uh, pole Arms and Conjurations. Probably not. Uh, yes, drop that please. Thank you. Okay, just being a bit more careful. Again, not wanting to piss off anything. Not wanting to attract the ire of RNG. It's not ideal. Okay. Um, thankfully for the, us, the orb run is like fairly straightforward. Uh, killing demons is like our thing, so we just don't really care at all about the fact that they're summoning pan lords. It's like, wow, we've only killed like every single one of the pan lords in hell lords. Like, what could another pan lord do to you? We'll probably just one shot you anyway. So yeah, I'm not like super afraid of that part. Oh, we got scrolls. Takes longer to read again, motherfucker. All right, let's just run for the hills. So yeah, our character is uniquely powerful, or not uniquely powerful, but like specifically suited to doing orb runs, so once we pick up the orb, we're not actually that afraid. We're also flying, so we're just permanently faster than everything else anyway, so eh, whatever. Also one shot like most things, so. Apparently not Nekasex though, they're uh, immune to our attacks. It's a 6 fur he, fuck that guy. Oh, it's the Amulet of Shielding, oh, uh, the Brooch of Shielding, I forgot about him. I forgot that I had that. Alright, GDO. Oh, there's a pan lord. Oh, fuck, he actually had torment. Oh, fuck, he's actually scary. Alright, that was pretty bad. Well, what the hell? Oh, I didn't have my holy weapon on. I don't know why I didn't have that on. That was stupid. 
All right, let's go towards that upstairs. Again, we're healing quite a lot from just killing demons, so we're not too afraid. We're also getting back a ton of piety as well from just doing general skirmishes with the undead. Pretty happy about that, to be honest. GDO. Like, an Ice Fiend or two isn't even, like, a threat to this character anymore. We just kind of snipe it off. Just ignore some of these things. GDO. Another Pan Lord. Just run away. Like, this character is also fast. I completely forgot that we're flying. We also have basically boots of running, which is really good. Alright. Just summon some angels, sure. Let's leave. Sweet. And that exactly... Uh, that, guys, is... A 15 rune. Hey, what the fuck? Mega Slime? What the fuck? You're not even in this game anymore, dude. Holy shit. Nice. Uh, so yeah, that's me. Uh, playing as the Tengu Hunter. Just below Mega Slime. My good friend, Mega Slime. Four hour long game. It's kind of slow for a, th a 15 rune. But that's because his range, not melee. Melees can go down under like two hours. If you really want to push it really hard. But eh, I was just doing a kind of like, you know, chill run. Just doing a nice classic run. What do I think of uh, of ranged? It's actually pretty good. I like it now. Um, that was actually very fun to do. So I might do more 15 runes if I, if I have like other builds that are like actually good for 15 runing. I mean, having ranged was pretty interesting this time around, so I'll, I'll probably do it like more often in tournaments and stuff. Like I said, I don't really like experimenting that much because it's kind of a waste of time most of the time. It's better to focus on what you can do and try to do that in tournaments rather than trying to branch out all the time because like for example Tengu Hunter really doesn't give you that much points anyway so it's kind of like from the perspective of someone who's playing it's like why would I play Tengu Hunter when I could just play everything else right I can play Tengu when it's a Nemelex choice and I'll just do that because Tengu tends to be kind of hard anyway so it seems kind of unnecessary but yeah other than that it's pretty good um I actually enjoyed it a lot we got really lucky with the early run with the early uh, triple crossbow but obviously that doesn't mean that our character was you know a character is really enjoyable to play regardless, right? I didn't feel like he was at all tedious. Um, we did die a couple of times, but that's beside the point. <laughs> we'll uh, eventually get better at that. But yeah, it was, it was really fun. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for today. I will probably be not uploading either tomorrow or on Wednesday. I'm sorry about that, but I have an exam that's due on Thursday. And I really haven't studied a lot for it. And I'm trying to study for it, but it's fucking hard because it's economics. And... This is, this is a different type of economics, obviously. This is a much easier version of economics, but it's just like, after that old other economics exam, I just can't be fucked doing this one. I also have an exam, uh, an assignment due next week as well, but that's on, like, eSports, so I don't give a shit. Like, I'll just, I'll just run through it. I love content analysis. Yum. Um, yeah, I don't know. Other than that, it's been pretty fun. Thanks for all the help, kind words with the Doom RL and uh, Darkest Dungeon videos as well, by the way, guys. If you don't watch those series, that's fine, but... Uh, I do suggest that you check them out. I think they're probably the most enjoyable community series that I do nowadays. Like, a lot of engagement from you guys. Really enjoy doing them as a result. I get a lot of advice. I get a lot of talking. And Doom Arles, uh Darkest Dungeon in general, even though it's, like, the worst performing series my, my channel's ever done, I'm just going to keep doing it because I fucking enjoy it. Um, it's so much fun. Like, we've started... Na I named all my characters after, like, people on the channel. And it's just, like... It's almost like they're they're playing the game for me. I'm just kind of watching them play, and I'm like, dude, bad plus. What the fuck are you doing? Heal. Uh, but yeah, it's really it's really fun. So I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling because I haven't done a ramble session in a while. But you know, feel free to leave. Get out of here. All right. I'll see you tomorrow or the day after. I don't know.